Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we have the Ford Bronco. Not only is it a Bronco, this is the Raptor. So this is the big boy version for this SUV. We've had a lot of fun with this vehicle for the week. We did a full review, we took it off road. Now it's time to show you guys the last part of what the Bronco is capable of that is going topless. We're taking the top off, the doors off. We're gonna show you that process and just show you how easy it is. We have my uh, probably wife at this point by the time this video goes up, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe yeah. Maybe, Exciting. so she's here to help me out just to show you that really anyone can do it. It's really not a hard process, but I haven't seen any videos to really show the details on how to do this. Yeah. So are you ready? I guess I'm ready. I'm earning my dinner tonight, guys. <laughs> you just went on your first ride in this. What do you think of the, the Raptor in general? Uh, so far, it's pretty cool. Um, it was quieter than I expected on the interstate, which was nice because Mike's now trying to talk me into getting one. This would be um, so cool to have on the channel. It would be cool to have, yeah. um, but I haven't driven one, so I have to like do that before I make any decisions. Yeah. However, I do think it's really nice, a comfortable ride, and it does look really cool. So, so let's get into uh, this operation. First thing that you need to do is put all of the windows down because that's going to be much easier to maneuver these doors and uh, to keep the glass, of course, in uh, safe condition. All of the windows are automatic, so it's just really simple and easy to do. If you can grab me that tool right there, you only need one tool. Unlike the Jeep Wrangler, unless this one just doesn't have it at the moment, I didn't see any toolkits. So we're using a 13 millimeter socket for the Eight bolts total, two bolts per door. So, if we'll uh, zoom in here real quick, you will notice that there is one bolt right here and then one at the bottom. So that is it. And then we have the electronics, of course, which you just push that cap and then you can do this a little bit better with two hands, but that just comes out. And then the cap there is what you saw closes. Now with the 13 millimeter socket, it's pretty easy to loosen these and they are different sizes. So you're not going to uh, mix them up. We have this probably inch and a half, inch and a quarter top bolt. And then this lower bolt is probably a half inch or so. So they are very specific. With this out of the way, the next step that we want to do is to move the side mirror. So she's just going to pull that towards you, so that way it's out of the way. And then from there, there's that lift handle that I showed earlier. Now the grab handle that you use to close the door, I wouldn't really say that that is an actual handle that you want to have your hand on. So we have the lift, and then I would say use the actual handle on the outside. This one on the inside, a little bit flimsy, I would say, for being able to take the door off. I think it should be much more structural, but this is a good position as I am here right now. So with the mirror out of the way, we're just gonna lift this straight up and then off. And that's door number one. So the first door was really easy, guys. I think it took maybe 20 seconds and it wasn't heavy at all. Um, now we're on to the second. Let's see how this one goes. Just like you saw for the front door, obviously it is the same process and we have the same two different bolts there. So I would assume that all four of these are the same, all four of these are the same. So that way you don't get them mixed up and then it's much easier to reach the electronics. Now, something interesting to note, I'm assuming that this plug is just for maybe the power locks. Up front, you have lock and unlock uh, levers. I don't know, I guess you need power locks for this, obviously, so it's, it's interesting that there's nothing else on the door if you have this whole module. But we're going to do the same thing. We don't have the side mirror in the way, so we have that grab handle, we have the opposite grab handle, and just like that. So in a matter of about 10 minutes, maybe 15 max, here is step one, having all of the doors off on the Bronco Raptor. Pretty cool. One thing that I will note is I haven't found a location to store all of those bolts. So unlike the Wrangler where you have the area in the back, I didn't see it on the Raptor. Not a huge deal, would be nice to see though. I'm leaving everything in the garage so I have somewhere to put the bolts. But that is step one, going doorless. Now onto the roof. You can get a soft top or you can get this four piece hard top. So we're gonna start off with the front two panels. So uh, Tara's gonna show us on this passenger side here. You have one clip up underneath the visor and then there are three of these tabs, you all right? Yeah. There's three of these tabs 
And then it is the same for the driver's side. So we have the same tabs there. You have to take off the driver's side first and then the passenger side. You just lift it up like this. Yeah. And up and over. Oh. There you go. Yep. Okay. And you'll lift it up just like that. It is the Raptor, so it, or the the, bron or the Raptor, so it is a little bit higher than a, a normal one. I need a few more inches to get that, guys. <laughs> and with the front done, just as easy. Now you can get, oh, I guess what I forgot to mention real quick with the doors, there's bags for the doors, which this model doesn't have at the moment. I would suggest putting the bags on the door and then take the door off the vehicle and then vice versa when you put them back on. There's also bags for the two front panels and supposedly you can put all four doors in the back but you can't do all four doors and the two panels. So it's either two panels, maybe two panels in the front doors or all four doors. Okay. They should fit back there. Uh, we're not doing that today since we don't have the bags. But now on to piece number three. It is the same process as the fronts. So we have one of those clamps on both sides that she just released and then the same ones running across the back there. This is one solid piece. Yeah. So unlike the front, you have to lift the entire piece. Lift it up, there we go. And then it'll come towards me. You got it? I got it now, yep. So it's a little awkward, but it is a light piece. And the good thing is that, well, you're gonna be leaving this at home because it's not gonna fit in the back, of course. <laughs> nice job, babe, <laughs> nice job. So we are making progress, about 15 minutes or so. I will say, if you own this, it's gonna be a lot easier to do this we have to put everything back on before we leave for the day. But so let's move on to this rear piece that I think we can both do. So if you open that up, and then we are also going to lift up this section here. The back is only held together by eight bolts. These are all a T50. So you can see I've already loosened all of them just to make it a lot easier. And then we have these two connectors right here. I would assume power for the a wiper blade as well as the winch or the uh, washer fluid what's pretty cool too is that once you have those disconnected there's actually a place to put them so that way they don't move around while they are not connected to their normal spot so just like that now those are out of the way we're disconnected from power once we remove all of those then we are going to see if we can actually lift this off if we can't do it safely we'll leave it on it shouldn't be that heavy but I think we got this. Can we try? And before I forget, two more important bolts that we just found out and removed. You have one on each side on the top. So with those out, now we can take this off. You just try one more thing. I think if I had a ladder to step down, it would work. So what would you say, 20 minutes, half hour later? Max, I mean, it, if you're it, doing it consistently without stopping in between takes, yeah. I think maybe 15 minutes, maybe. And then the only other thing is how much this rear section weighs. We're leaving it on for today's video, but you have a good idea of how it comes off. Two people, it's definitely going to be a little bit easier. It's also harder on the Bronco too, because we have the 37s, so it's a much taller truck than a normal Bronco. Yes, I will say I was too short to help him. I think that if I was a little bit taller, we could have gotten it off, Yeah. but it wasn't safe with my height of five too, so. Yeah, so we're leaving that on, but I'm gonna have this window open just to give us more of that open experience. So we're not really missing much by leaving it on. However, I will say probably a, a majority of the owners will just do the front section, unless you just wanna leave that off for whatever reason. And it's also a soft top ready. Let me show you here. There's these anchor points right here that actually say soft top ready. So if you want to take this off, I'm assuming that you will keep it off uh, for a little bit. It is cumbersome to consistently uh, take on and off all the time. So let's go for a ride now with the top down in the Bronco. One positive to this, I used to own a Jeep Wrangler, so I'm very familiar with this. I love that the side mirrors stay on the vehicle. Every time I took the doors off of my Wrangler, I didn't bother buying the aftermarket mirrors because I wasn't keeping my vehicle that long, but it's awesome that you don't even have to do it in the Bronco. So you ready? I'm ready, let's do it. So before we do this, let's get the exhaust in sport mode. You holding the camera? I got it. All right, here we go.
you think of round one? That was fun. Um, it got up to speed really like fast, <laughs> much faster than I anticipated. Oh, well, the Raptor has a bit more power than the standard one. Yeah. Um, that was fun. But I enjoyed yeah. it. The wind noise is what you would expect if you've been in a Wrangler before or well, any convertible for the for that matter. Or a four-wheeler or a motorcycle. Or a any motorcycle, of that. yeah. I mean it's it's what you would expect. And uh, all right, here we go. So there you have it, taking the roof and, well, most of the roof and all the doors off for the all new Ford Bronco Raptor. Really not a hard process. The back end, a little heavy being the hard top there. So if you take it off, you're probably gonna have it off. I wouldn't keep putting it on and off, you know, every single day. That's more of a take it off, leave it off until you're ready to put yep. it back on. But aside from that, really easy process. What yeah. do you think? Uh, it wasn't bad at all. Very easy, a lot easier than I thought. Um, and it's a nice ride. I enjoyed it. Yeah. The only other thing I would say is if you have long hair, bring a hat because <laughs> my hair is a little crazy right now. Yeah. But uh, comparing it to the Jeep Wrangler that I had, the only other thing that I will mention is that these posts here are not as big as they are on the Wrangler. So on the Wrangler, I could actually keep uh, the actual hinges off or the bolts out. And all I had was the hinge and the electronics to disconnect. You can't do that with these. You have to have the bolts in all of the way. So just a minor difference is but the bolts are hidden on the Wrangler. You do see them on the exterior, they're exposed. So minor differences between the two, just to throw that out there. Well, there you have it. We're oh, going to- Sorry, babe. Go I ahead. actually have one more thought that came okay. to me while we were riding. Yeah. The handles that are typically above for you to hold on to, there's one here, and then there's one back here for this seat. That's not convenient, especially for someone as small as me. I couldn't reach, so I didn't have a handle to hold on to, which I personally like you can't. in these kind of vehicles. That one's a little awkward, right? I'll show you. It's, it's just like, I yeah. have to sit up like this to reach it. Versus up here. And there's nothing here. So, I mean, I can hold on to this, yeah. but it's a little warm. You could add a strap, maybe, like your the, dad's Jeep. I think I would, but yeah. I think that's the one thing that I actually don't like about it. Everything yeah. else I've enjoyed. Fair enough. Every car is going to have their positives and negatives, but... Yeah. Hope you enjoyed today's video, going topless with the Bronco Raptor. Check out the other videos that we did, especially taking this off-road. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. So definitely don't miss that video. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button. We will see you guys in the next video. See ya.